on Thunder in Paradise. If it's the pirates that have been hitting these waters lately, we gotta move fast, because they sure do. I am not a happy camper. And as a word from you, and I will cut your tongue out. Feel it now. Keep your eyes on the horizon. Mm. Right, left, right. Keep your balance. Can I just lean on you? I think you're ready for the lake. No, no, no. I'm sure I need some more practice. Right, no, I think you've had enough practice. Left, right. Oh, no, you are not going anywhere. <laughs> Jess, how was camp? Monotonous. Every day's the same, so I decided to come home early. Uh-huh. Should have called. I would have picked you up. I wanted to surprise you, and it looks like I did. I was just trying to teach Nicole. Oh, don't tell me. I'm too young to know about those things. Oh, God. Silly girl. You know your daddy and I are just good old buddies. I'll see ya. Um, maybe we could all paddle on the lake together. Why don't you just catch up with your daughter? But call me later. Bye. Bye, Nicole. So camp was it very exciting, huh? Boring's the word for it. Anything exciting happened here? Oh, you could say that. What? What happened? Uh, Tell me. Nothing much. Just a bunch of Indians, some pirates. Kelly get kidnapped. Brew had a sword fight. I wrestled an alligator, and then this Bigfoot thing attacked us. You're making this up. Why would I make up a story like that? Because you like to. Fine. If you don't want to hear it, then I'll just... No, no. Tell me. Everything. Right from the beginning. Well, see, these girls from the Stella Butt went out with this guy that sold jewelry from his boat. Kind of like a Tupperware party, except for the expensive jewelry. And he has them on the boat where they can't get away. You got the picture. He went out and he picked them and their boyfriends up on the beach. They went out and got real drunk. Then he brought out the diamond rings, the gold watches, and they brought out the cash. He ripped them off? No. Everybody got ripped off. Look, By some modern-day pirates who've been attacking yachts from here to the Caribbean. Oh, wow. Got another call. I'll catch you later. Ah. Yeah, how you doing, Hans? Hey, here you got that new Mercedes in stock. Oh, great. What? What? Yeah, I don't know. 
Yeah. What color looks good to you? Red sounds you? excellent. Sure. Well, so does green and silver. It's like solid gold. See the ring you gave me? You have to do it again. It's just like my smile. I got a great oh, smile. Wrap them up. <laughs> Trying to get a fix on that disrupted Mayday. Give me a second. If the pirates have been hitting these waters lately, we gotta move fast, because they sure do. Got it. 220 degrees south by southwest. Book it, brother. Hang on. Rue and I took off after the pirates, but we had a lot of ground to make up. with a laser pulse cannon. We can't fire anything. We've got hostages. Not for long. Disengage battle cloak. Two in the water. Top side, let's go. again after Kelly met Billy Cypress. Who's Billy Cypress? Oh, he's an Indian boy from the Okalasa tribe. When his grandfather died, Billy promised to bury his medicine bundle in a sacred Indian burial ground. Only Billy didn't know where it was. After searching all day, he was about to go skinny dipping in Mako Pond when Kelly showed up to do the exact same thing.
nothing. I, I, I was going swimming. You were spying on me. N no, I wasn't. I was already here when you walked up. This is private property. You could be arrested for trespassing. Let me tell you something. My people swam in this pond before your people came to this country. I've traveled 2,000 miles to be here, and I have every right to be here just as much as you. I didn't mean to offend you. I just... I just didn't expect anybody to be here. My name's Kelly. What's yours? Uh, it's Billy Cypress. Well, Billy... What do you say we put some clothes on? Yeah. You first. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I'll uh, go back there and close my eyes. Uh, I won't look. I promise. So what did the pirates and Billy Cypress have to do with one another? A lot. Kelly brought Billy to the scuttlebutt and showed Brew the contents of his grandfather's medicine bundle to try to figure out where the sacred burial ground was. Woo! <coughs> I haven't smelled anything that potent since my old red ball jet sneakers. What is this? It's fur. I don't know what kind of animal it is. Though. It's mukshwati. Mukshwa what? Mukshwati. In the Okola Sotong, which means skunk ape. Uh, legend holds the mukshwati runs the Everglades, protecting the spirit world. I am Jean Lafouet, and you are breathtaking. Uh oh, uh, time, time. Uh, time out. How'd you pronounce that last name? Jean Lafouet. Lafouet. Any relationship to Pepe Le Pew? Brew? No, no, it's quite all right. If I were your lover, I would never let another man near you. Well, we're not. I mean, he and I... Well, that's not really important now, is it? We've got a little business to attend to here. Yes, so I you... couldn't help overhearing this young man is in search of the ancient Ocolasso burial site, huh? Yeah, do you know where it is? I'm afraid not. Fear strikes out. Now, if you'll just... But if you will accompany me, perhaps we can explore my private library. He interrupted me. You interrupted me. Yes, I did. I have the early journals of Blue Galleon Captain Ambrose Romola, who traded extensively with the Ocolasso tribe. You know, I can't understand the words you're saying, but in any case, I think our best option is to take this little bundle and run it through a spectrochemetron. I'd love to. You'd love to? I will await you at the dock. What? Au revoir. Au revoir. Sally. Yeah, right. You're not really gonna... Brew, relax. Go run your spectrochemitron, and I'll go delve into Jean's looks. Looks? His looks? Books. I said books. You said looks. I said books. She said his looks. Legs. Legs, you said his looks. She said his looks. I knew fate brought me here today. That Indian boy will lead us to riches beyond imagination. The Blue Galleon pirates used to bury their treasure in the Okolasso burial site, knowing it would be protected by secrecy and superstition. We just have to stay close to him and those helping him find it. And when they do, we dig the treasure up and replace it with their bones. <laughs> Hello. Pirates, Indians, I can't believe I went to camp for one week and missed all this. Well, it wasn't Peter Pan, trust me. LaFoy wanted Kelly's heart right in his fist and Bruce's head right on a plate. He brought Kelly to his lair, which he'd built with the money from his stolen treasures. LaFoy was desperate to find the Indian burial ground so he could dig up the pirate treasure buried there. And seducing Kelly was part of his plan. I've never seen anything like this. Seeing it through your eyes makes it uh, exciting for me as well. You are a collector, aren't you? Well, when you have passion for something, you find ways to fulfill it. <laughs> What's your rarest book? My rarest book? Uh... Ah. This is the original copy of Tartuffe, before the king made Molière change the ending. And, voila, this is the original Pontus copy, as you like it, with ah, Shakespeare's rewrites in the margins. Wow, it's incredible. I can see your passion for riches is as heated as mine. Follow me.
the museum. Every piece in my collection was stolen from its original owner. Stolen by others, but recovered by me from the clutches of greedy men. A sarcophagus looted from the Valley of Kings. Ming pottery pillaged by the reef pirates. A statue of Dionysus stolen from a museum of Crete. Why don't you give it back to the rightful owners? If I stole your heart from another man, should I return it to him because he possessed it first? I think we should look for that book on Asa Lasso burial grounds. Mm -hmm. uh, what about your friend, the one with that uh, extraordinary scarab? Come on to the Thunder, I believe it's called, huh? How do you know about Thunder? I saw it in Exxon recently. With all its technology, certainly your friend is capable of discovering the burial grounds location. If anybody can. Then we shall allow him to lead the way. Hmm? Mm. Shall we have lunch? <laughs> bon. I don't know if it was jealousy, instinct, or just plain paranoia that made Brew follow Kelly. But when the pirates caught him prowling around, things really started to heat up. To no friends. Hi, Legs. Brew! Ah. Nice champagne. What's the vintage? Tuesday. What are you doing here? You forgot your mad money. Interesting place you've got here, La Flop. Ah, masks, eh? Did you pose for that one? If you would like a closer look, I could mount your head next to it. You can try if you like. Whoa, 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 fellas, come on. Can't we get along here? Have you experience with Le Sever? Drove one for three years. And you? I drove one through three men. Ouch. Brew, don't do this. I disarm you, you depart the island immediately, alone. And what about when I kick your butt? You risk your treasure, I risk mine. I'm not his treasure. You're on. Vive la France! Vive Las Vegas! Oh God, I hate Elvis. Hey! Like this. Okay, enough. Now, what are you two? Stop it! On guard, monsieur. Good sweet. I can't believe. Brew won the sword fight and got Lefoy's medallion. It was a miracle. Actually, it was a fiasco. That medallion almost got us all killed. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> Billy, it's uh, about the fur. It's kind of sneaking up my boat. Unless I bury my grandfather's medicine bundle in sacred ground by sunset, his spirit won't rest in peace. Yeah, well, we still got six hours. Spectrochemical analysis complete. Okay, let's see what we got here. Switch that inner leaf knob the two way. Nothing conclusive. Science won't lead me to the burial ground. It's got to come from my soul. Yeah, well, maybe it's for the best. I know my soul could never rest in peace with anything that smelled that bad. Sorry, bad joke. Wait a minute. That fur, that fur is bare, probably. But the location of the burial ground has nothing to do with what kind of fur it is. The location of the burial ground has to do with what gave that fur its... bouquet. Switch that in a leap before way, Billy. Yes. Diliquiseed sulfur. Found only on... Calgary Island. I'm feeling, uh, it's bringing me luck already. How did knowing where the fur came from lead to the Indian burial ground? It didn't, not directly. What it would lead to was the shaman of the Okalasa tribe. What's a shaman? Their medicine man. He'd have to be the one to show us the burial ground. 
Did he? Hold on. One step at a time. Now that he knew where the fur was from, Brew got hold of Kelly and me and dragged us all to Calgary Island. What was it like? Spooky. And it turned out that we weren't on the island alone. I had intended a tracking device in my medallion for other purposes, but thanks to the blind arrogance of one quite second-rate swordsman, it will now lead us right to our treasure. That smells horrible. It's a geothermal pool of sulfur. Better known as Mukshwati Musk. Come on. You really don't believe there's some giant skunk ape roaming around here. Do you? Ask Billy. Grandfather used to talk about it, but I don't know if it's real or a legend. I used to think an evil troll lived under my bed. How'd you get rid of it? Turn 30. If you don't believe in legends, Billy, why are you doing this? I promised my grandfather. Could we move on? I mean, we have to find this place before sunset, right? All right, let's go find the Okalasa Shaman. I got a promise to keep it. Let's go. Excuse me. Your zipper's open. Why do you seek the medicine man of the Alcawasa? Well, I'd promised my grandfather I'd bury his medicine bundle in the sacred ground. What was your grandfather's name? Che Mazda. Ah, oh, Che Mazda. Your grandfather was a good man. But he left our people long ago to walk a new path far away. His medicine bundle no longer can enter our sacred ground. Uh, <clears throat> we've gone to a great deal of trouble to be here. He just likes to scare people away, not to help them. I am sorry, but it is not meant to be. Well, with all due respect, if it wasn't meant to be, why would we find you? You speak a truth. You shall keep your promise. Peaceful, isn't it? Yeah. When the soul hits retirement, I'm going to keep this place in mind. <laughs> Young woman, I wish to speak to you. I just wanted you to know how much we appreciate what you're doing for Billy. 
Are you not the young woman who trespasses by swimming on our land? Yes, yeah, sometimes, I guess. But I promise I'll never do it again. It's just... Oh, no. You may continue. It makes the Owens feel young again, as they too remember their youth. Throw down your weapons. Let's go. Now. Well, is it the foie gras? Now I know why these woods smell so bad. After we have unearthed our treasure, we shall release you all by placing your bones in sacred ground. I'll take this now. Thank you. Lielio's up. Lafoy and his men captured us, but luckily the shaman got away. What'd they do to you? Well, they tied us all up. <laughs> and Lafoy saved a special spot for Brew. Okay. Oh, hello. I am not a happy camper. Don't worry, bro. I'll get you down. You want to tell me how? I'm working on it. I am afraid there is little to work on, mon ami. The Gaspar Hitch is a most effective restraint. Conceived by the Spanish pirate Don Carlos Gaspar in the late 18th century. Now, there's a final Jeopardy question. Unfortunately, you will not be able to lose your rope without allowing our friends to slip free, sending him to a horrid death. I wouldn't dig there if I was you, Lafay. Yes, unless you want to suffer a horrible death. The Maswati's no myth. If you dig there, you'll be doomed. Pay no attention to them, huh? Save it for your shells, fairy tales. Ni faites pas attention. Sta digging. I said dig. Hey, bro. Yes, fans. Remember the last guy that was digging there? Ronnie Trell? How could I ever forget Ronnie Trell? I'd rather fall into the sulfur pool than end up like him. Horrible. It's horrible. Disgusting. Little hole. Tiny, really. Like that one the size of a coffee cup. Musquatchy ripped his face off. Face? Ripped his whole head off. What a mess. Yeah, kind of reminded me of that peach you made brewed during the Super Bowl. The one that exploded. That was not my fault. I used canned mozzarella. Big mistake. That is enough. That's enough. That is enough. That enough. is enough. Another word from you and I will cut your tongue out. Spoil sport. Dig now or I will sever your heads. I'm tired of hanging around. <laughs> Hold on. Man, I am seriously impressed, man. Is everyone all right? 
The flight to Kelly. That was a great Mushwadi act. I performed no act. You scared everyone away. My zipper was stuck. I could not get the costume on. Dad, you mean the real Mushwadi saved you? It depends on if you believe the shaman or not. Wow. So, did Billy get to bury his grandfather's medicine bundle? It's not that simple. We left him with the shaman while we went to save Kelly. You! Yeah. Oh. You leave! No, no, no. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Get in the boat. In the boat. out of for me. Wave runner launch on my mark. Three, two, one, mark. Let's go. Well, 
I got Kelly to safety, Brew went after Lafoy, who had gone back to his lair to gather as much treasure as he could carry. did it a bit on the C4, but something told me ringing the doorbell wasn't the best way to get your attention. That organ was an original bagalieu. It needed tuning. If I heard that sharp D one more time, I was going to lose my oatmeal on the ceiling. And now, le frappe. It's time to address your respect for women and other cultures. Unlike our last encounter, this time I shall cure your cockiness, my friend. Oh, well, this time. Let's try something a little more manly. Doesn't matter to me how I kill you. Promises, promises. <laughs> Where did you go? You know, you turn your back for two seconds. Ah, Shakespeare. Never did work for me. Aha. Uh -huh. Time to play. the medicine bundle in sacred ground. And you know what happened? What? The sulfur pools changed from yellow to bright blue. And the putrid smell changed to the smell of flowers. Dad? What? Is this a true story? What do you think? I think you made it up. Oh, you do, huh? Did you? <laughs> you tell me. Wow! Is that the Floyd's medallion? Tell you what, if the pirates hunt you down to get that back, then it's a true story. And if they don't? Well, then you've got an awesome necklace. You don't stay up too late. Don't need that chocolate power bar under that pillow either. I love you. <laughs> 